I've spent the last two days running through these, the Pantanal wetlands. Wetlands that should be, at this time of year, completely underwater, but instead, they're dry as a bone. It's devastating to see, yet again, the consequences of climate change and human activities, like deforestation and over-withdrawal of water, and the consequences that that is having in places of such incredible significance to all of us, everywhere. The Pantanal is the world's largest tropical wetland. It is unique in the enormous amount of biodiversity it has. It has the world's largest uh, jaguars, uh, and then there are many other species like marsh deer that we can only find here. Uh, and it supports millions of people in the upper Paraguay basin, uh, which is shared by Brazil, Bolivia, and Paraguay. The biggest threats to the Pantanal are for forest fires that are human-induced, uh, dams in the upper part of the Paraguay basin in Brazil, land use change, which means converting the forest of the savannas to agriculture or beef production, and climate change, which is contributing to reducing the, the surface water area in this ecosystem. Sí, sobre el tema del agua dulce, el sitio Ranzar es agua dulce, significa y este es el quinto humedal más importante del mundo. Por lo tanto, es importante el agua dulce para los animales, para la, para la biodiversidad también y por lo tanto para los seres humanos. El Pantanal, atravesando una crisis hídrica ya por tres años, eh, parte de esto con la responsabilidad del hombre, parte de esto responsabilidad del cambio climático. Son economías afectadas, son pueblos que dependen de la biodiversidad para subsistencia. No, hay que cuidar, como le decía, este, no sabemos si va a cortar el agua mañana o pasado, hay que estar pendiente y llenar las vasijas nomás, porque no, no estamos seguros. 